Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of place-value relationships. This is standard 3.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 20 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got three students making models to represent numbers. And which models represent the same number? All right, so let's figure out which numbers we have here. So what do we have? We've got some place value blocks, all right? So let's put a little key over here to make sure that we understand. We get these big, giant flats, right? We should remember that they equal 100. Now, if you want to actually count, right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across. You have to write really small. There's also 10 down. So really, it's it's a, it's a 10 times 10. 10 little rods, okay? I'm going to draw the rod, but I'm just going to draw it like a stick, right? That equals 10. Because if you want, you can just label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to put a little tiny cube right there. That just equals 1. All right, so once we have that, we can start building our numbers. So Anne looks like she's going to have a pretty straightforward number here. And I'm just going to show them as an addition sentence, right? So I've got 100 plus this, which is 110, and I've got a whole bunch of ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, interesting. So I've got 10 ones, right? I could end up regrouping that. If you take these 10 ones and you stack them all together, you can actually turn all of these into another, and I'll just draw a little 10 rod right there. Okay, so it's not quite expanded form uh, because you wouldn't have 100 plus 10 plus 10. Once you have it like this, right, you can literally just add them vertically if you want to, or most of you probably did that in your head. You thought, all right, two tens is 20, so 100 plus 20, there we go. That's standard form. All right, so this number is 120. Check this one. That is 100 plus 2. Big difference, especially since you have the place value blocks. Okay, that's expanded form. But that's the trick, right? There's no tens. So it kind of looks like this, and you have to put a zero where there's no tens. So those two are not the, the same number. Okay, so Zane is going to have to equal either 120 or 102, and I'm thinking it's going to be 120. I don't see any ones. Okay, so let me see. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so if I do that, that's 100. And then 110, 120. All right, so that's 120. Really, what I have is 12 tens. Okay, so if I wanted to draw my place value, right? So that's my ones place and that's my tens place. I have 12 tens. You can't put two digits in the same place. So what you end up doing is you end up spilling over like this. All right, I've got zero ones, and I've got 12 tens, and you end up writing each digit in its own place value, and guess what? That makes 120. So got the 100 and the 20 right there, so that's going to be 120. All right, so Zane and Anne have the same numbers, but we need to figure that out and why. Which models represent the same number, Anne and Karina? No, looking for Anne and Zane. Karina and Zane. Nope. Anne and Zane. There we go. Because 100, 110, and 10 1s is equivalent to 12 10s. Yes, that's what I had right there. That's 120. We figured out that 12 tenths is also 120, so my answer is C.